listen, I think we've all been in a position where, you know, we've gotten up, gotten some water, maybe a snack, came back to our PCs, uh, and to our dismay, discovered that somehow we didn't pause our Sims game, and now everything is on fire, your Sim is dead, and just chaos has ensued. And <laughs> There was an incident recently when I was streaming and I kind of as a joke oftentimes will just leave my game running when I get up to like get water, go to the bathroom or whatever. And I did that again this time and um... <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> did not work out so well. Because I almost like half hope that something bad will happen, right? But then this time I got up, went to the bathroom and I came back and my fireplace had caught on fire and my sim was on fire and about to die. So... <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Like, everything's fine. I fixed it. She was fine. But that got me thinking, you know, what if I did something bad on purpose again <laughs> and I just watched what happened? Because it's one thing to leave your game running for like five, ten minutes by accident. But what if you leave it running overnight? Your sims have like eight hours to do something horrible. That's what I want to happen. I intend to leave them unsupervised with many hazardous objects in their home and just to kind of see what happens. So step one, I've made some sims here. We've got our sim Amy, very beautiful, lovely lady. We've got her husband, Chris, and also Amy's sister, Leslie. Uh, she's a very fancy lady, as you can see. She's big into high-end fashion, and um, she's beautiful, for sure. But these three, super close. You know, Amy and Leslie, the best of friends. And luckily for Amy, her husband is also very close to her sister, Leslie. They're, they're, they're all very tight-knit, and it's great. It's lovely. It's adorable. Except, um, guys, I don't mean to be dramatic, but I think that, that Leslie and Chris are a little bit more than close, if you know what I mean. Like, I don't want to make any accusations, but I'm pretty sure they're having an affair. So, bad things are bound to happen here. <laughs> but I use the story mode to make all of them, so they all have careers and stuff. Leslie happens to be a criminal. She also is self-absorbed, materialistic, and a geek. Uh, obviously, Chris over here is mean, <laughs> gloomy, and evil, so that's good. And then Leslie is a nicer gal. She's neat and outgoing. She likes music. I'm ready to cause some problems here with these sims. So I'm gonna put them in a house, but not just any house. I'm gonna specifically prepare this place to be disastrous, right? Like, they all have no cooking skill. We'll put the cheapest appliances in. So, like, fire might happen. I'll put a lit fireplace down. You know, we're just gonna put a lot of dangerous objects in these homes and hope for the worst. Wait, they're rich? All three of them are rich? Somehow they have like 43k. I don't know what's going on here, but we're just gonna put them in one house. Now, as you can see, their house is, I'm gonna call it booby trapped, right? At least to the best of my abilities, because we have a lit fireplace. We have winter time outside. Uh, we have all the cheapest appliances, so like if it breaks and they don't fix it, what are you gonna do? <laughs> also, I may not have a bathtub instead of a shower because I was like, you know what? We don't get these kind of luxuries here, okay? You just get a bathtub. But it also happens to be, like I said, winter time. So I put a Christmas tree down. No, if they decide to light that on fire, that's not my problem. And we have the cheap city living half broken appliances. So we've definitely got some recipes for disaster here, but it's about to get worse because while Leslie is visiting right now, she doesn't live here. And she also happens to be, wait for it, pregnant. <laughs> with Chris's baby, which is just awful, <laughs> genuinely. But we're gonna put her in a different household. I just kind of want to see what they end up naming the baby. It doesn't really matter. I just liked the idea of, you know, because the game will generate a baby for them and name it something. And if she's not in our household, it won't like interrupt us. So hopefully my Sims won't like get their game paused or anything um, while we're doing this because that would be horrible <laughs> if the game just paused and and stopped playing properly, because then I'll leave it running overnight to only come back and find out that, oh, the baby was born and name it, and then it just stops playing, you know? So she's somewhere else. <laughs> I'm also worried about his career, because if he's in the military career, that's gonna ask if he wants to go to work, right? So we need to have him quit his job and get a better one. I'll put him in the athletic career, and he'll just go to work every day, and it'll be fine, I think. But otherwise, I believe we're all set up here. Now, the last thing I wanna do before I leave my game running <laughs> is invite Leslie back over, because I like the idea of, them both being here. Cause you know, it sure would be a shame if, I don't know, someone were to catch the other doing a bit of flirting, you know? And so I'll just bring her back. We'll see what happens and they'll have a great time. Oh good, she's back, wonderful. <laughs> wow, she's pregnant. I wonder whose baby that could be. Ugh. All right, so I'm gonna save my game. Well, well, I'll end the welcome wagon too because oh, I guess I could leave it running. I'm nervous, but I guess on that note, we'll just um, let it be. I'm gonna come back tonight and then we'll actually do the, the running of this game exercise and see what happens. Okay, I'm back. It's nighttime. 
as you can see, it's a little bit dark in my office, but it's pink, so that's kind of fun. But I'm about to go to bed, so I figured I would pull up my game and um, leave it running. So we set up the save this morning, we got it all ready to go. I'm just gonna load it up, invite my friend over, and just let it run. I'm gonna be up for another couple hours still, so I can check on it at least before I actually go to sleep. But, um, oh, I'm glowing because of the snow. Good. <laughs> I feel nervous about this. Let's talk. What is it that's making me nervous? I don't really know. I think I'm most concerned not about what could happen to my sims because like I sort of want them to die. That'd be kind of fun if like something terrible happened. But also nervous that nothing terrible will happen and then we've made this whole video and it's like, oh, they're fine. They went to work. They did okay. Like whatever. And also nervous that something dumb's gonna happen. Like it'll pop up with like some sort of dialogue like, oh, this person invited you over and then it like leaves the game paused even though I left it running supposedly and it just paused somehow. That concerns me. But otherwise, should be fine. I think I'm gonna give them less money. Like, we'll give them a thousand simoleons. That's easy to know we had a thousand in the beginning and we can kind of like see what happens. Is my fire not lit? Oh, boo. Light the fireplace. Oh, it is. Oh, we're fine. Okay. Okay. Well, on that note, I suppose we'll just um, let it run. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Okay, we're back. We're double checking in before I actually go to sleep. It's been running for like three hours already. And as you can see, no one's dead yet, which is very unfortunate. I'm deeply upset by this, but <laughs> my Sim has evidently been playing music all night, did not go to sleep. So that's a, an oopsie on her part. Her husband's at work. I saw earlier, um, I went to take a shower. I like stopped this, set it up, let it run, took a shower. And when I came back to see if was like, I was gonna check if it was actually running still. It had been like 10 minutes and, um, Chris had gotten caught cheating on our dear friend Amy with Leslie, typical, already in like the first 10 minutes. Uh, so that's a little bit rude. And also when I came back just now, my game had paused because it was like, do you want free earbuds? So no, I don't want free earbuds. And luckily I fixed that because if I let that happen overnight and we had come back in the morning and my game was stuck after like this long because of earbuds and the Sims 4 fitness stuff, I would have been very upset, but it's fine. We're fine, but I am gonna actually leave this now until tomorrow. It looks like everyone's doing all right. She's she's gaining skills. I mean, he went to work. We've made 701 simoleons. We're insane. I'm so rich and nothing has caught on fire, which is deeply upsetting or broken, which, you know, still deeply upsetting, but we still have time. <laughs> so I might even, <laughs> I'm not gonna interrupt this though. I'm gonna leave her be and let her live her dreams and we'll come back tomorrow morning and hopefully my game won't pause again. Dear God, if I get offered earbuds one more time, I will cry. I didn't even consider that as being a possibility and that's like the biggest issue. I was like, we can't have a job that's gonna make them go to work because then I'll get weird dialogue messages. We can't have kids in case we get like weird messages about, I don't know. Hey mom, do I have acne? Do you still love me? Like those parenthood things, we can't have those. Oh my God, it's what's her face. Oh, and she had her baby. Ooh. All right, I'm, <laughs> I'll let that slide. Haha, <laughs> let, let that side chick go. All right, I'm, I'm sorry, I'll go, I'll go. Okay, so we're back. I'm about to check my game. Now, I must admit, it's 11.21 a.m., okay? I started doing this around like nine o'clock last night. I let my game start running, and I discovered to my dismay that a few bad things had happened, but not bad like as in to my sims, but bad as in for us because I forgot that when they have careers, the game keeps pausing with like dumb career opportunities. Like, ooh, oh no, the dishwasher, should you overload it or whatever, or don't, like that happens. And so I came back, like when I was actually going to bed around like one and it had paused. So I unpaused it, came back. I woke up at like seven cause my cat woke me up and then I came back, let it play again. And then I came back like n at around nine and it had paused again. And so since then I've been sitting at my PC working on some stuff. So I've let it keep running. It's now 1120. And so it's been playing for like a couple sim weeks. Um, <laughs> My power's shut off and my water's shut off, so that's not good. But unfortunately, it's not as bad and like as long as it could have been. But theoretically, my game's been running for like 13 hours. So we're back and um, no one's dead, but some bad things have happened, including everything in my house having broken. Oh no. Oh, Amy. Oh my God. If I let this run for like any longer, she would have actually died. Should I let her die? I'm not touching the game. I'm just looking at stuff. She can die if she doesn't come back inside. That's not my problem. But as you can see the power and water got shut off. And so all of my appliances are broken because they were already broken and then they didn't pay their bills. So the power shut off, the water shut off. Uh, it looks like the fridge is broken. I'm fairly certain that before 
one of the bath. Like, I think this sink might have been broken before. I think I saw it broken. Maybe they fixed it. I don't remember. I've also seen her mopping puddles when I've come back. They have plates everywhere. They're disgusting. I don't know why they won't shower because they have a tub. I don't know why they won't. Is the tub like not facing the right way? No, they should really get into that. That's weird. They won't shower. They're both so dirty. I also think that they won't sleep in the same bed because, um, well, our dear friend here, Mr. Chris, got caught cheating on Amy because I invited Leslie over. She also kept coming back. I kept seeing her come back. And so he caught them cheating. Um, and obviously Amy was not so happy about this, about her sister and her husband um, fraternizing. And so she was very angry. And I think since then they won't share a bed. And so they've both been exhausted off and on because they won't sleep together. So oops, sorry about that. Also, Leslie was pregnant and she had twins. Reuben and Lionel, Lionel, oh, bad, just bad. I thought, I was kind of thinking to myself, I was like, I wonder if she'll have twins. I didn't cheat that because I wanted to be surprised, but she did, which is funny. Why does it always happen when you have like a starter home type thing and then you get pregnant for your first baby and then you have twins? That seems so common to me, but they also made like 4,300 simoleons just from working for like two weeks straight. But this day, yesterday in game was Winterfest and I'm pretty sure, because we played on a long winter and I'm pretty sure Winterfest is, is week three so we've definitely played through like two weeks in the game, which is kind of interesting. I mean, two weeks and 13 hours is not ideal. I was kind of hoping someone would die, but like realistically, this isn't the end of the world. Like, yeah, our, our power got shut off. We have bills that are 477 simoleons. Our house is a mess. My Sims are miserable and smelly and not happy, but like, did they get promoted at all? Oh no, they won't because they didn't work on their comedy skills. Hang on, what were her skills like? I know she played guitar a ton in the beginning of this. Like when I kept coming back to check before bed, she was just playing guitar constantly. I think she had level three before now she's level five, so that's not bad, kid. You're insane, you're so good at this game. <laughs> but yeah, I was hoping for death. Unfortunately, there is none, but I did figure things would break. And also look at all the snowmen they made. <laughs> cause they just kept like autonomously, I'm guessing, building snowmen, cause they do that in The Sims. They just like go out and make snowmen. And they just made so many random snowmen spots everywhere. Wait. <gasps> so they do sleep together. Maybe they're just dumb and glitchy and they don't, it doesn't look like they do because I, I haven't seen, I haven't watched this very much and I keep seeing them not sleeping at the same time and I assume it's because they hate each other but I guess they don't hate each other. I guess they're just dumb and don't get in bed because Sims are smart and they'll help their needs but not until it's like, extreme, you know? Like he waited until he's about to pee his pants to go to the bathroom. And like, you know, they haven't showered a single time. Well, there isn't a shower, but they haven't bathed a single time this whole thing, which is dumb. You're both dumb. And they keep almost dying in the snow. These people are stupid. The Sims is stupid, but there you have it. That's what happens when you leave your game running overnight. Mess, not necessarily disaster, but just mess. Cause I mean, I, your sink isn't even broken. You could have washed these plates. You had no excuse. Oh, I replaced that fridge by accident. I was just trying to open it. Oops. Oh, he got medals from work. How? Oh, he started as a military. Never mind. Never mind. Sorry. Sorry. Now, my final thoughts. Would I recommend this? No. <laughs> Wasn't that fun. Kind of sucks. A little bit disappointing. I'm going to be honest. Would I do it again? Maybe. But instead of having them have jobs, I probably would let them not have jobs and um, not have it get interrupted overnight because that kind of sucked. Maybe I'd do it with like two adult sims and a toddler because that way, you know, you would see what happens about them taking care of the baby. I'm open to trying it again that way, but like no careers and a toddler. So hopefully no interruptions, but we'll see. I am really sad that no fire started. I was really hoping for a fire and or, and or a freezing to death moment, which it seemed like we came close, but it didn't actually happen. It's very rude, but you know what? I am proud of Chris and Amy. They made it out alive, okay? And that's impressive. Considering how The Sims works and how dumb Sims are, it is very shocking that they didn't get like shocked while trying to get food out of the fridge with a broken fridge and water everywhere. That they didn't start a fire. You know, that they actually like didn't die of hunger or something because we know these people, they're very dumb. So I have smart Sims. <laughs> I'm good at raising sim children, clearly, as um, you might have seen in my baby challenge. I'm very talented. I'm a very good mother. But I think on that note, I'm going to end this video right here. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm sorry that no one died. It's very disappointing. But make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. This is so sad. Like, genuinely so sad. I wanted him to die so bad. Chris deserves to die. He's a dirty cheater and he's evil and he should have died, but he didn't. <sighs>